Namaskar everybody, it's the Doll Circle, and today is our Q&A response video. Um, about a week and a half ago, almost two weeks ago, we posted a video um, asking you guys to ask us questions. So we picked a couple, again, we didn't pick others a lot, so I apologize if we don't get to your question. We definitely plan on doing this in the future. So for right now, uh, we have a list of the ones that we thought would be easy enough for us to answer. Or seem to be like repeat questions. Yeah, repeat questions or ones that we could get through within one episode um, without making it a 30 minute long episode. So, Robin, read off the first question. And this is in no particular order either. Who is Philip? <laughs> that <laughs> was one of my favorite questions. Yeah, so for the viewer that put, Who is Philip? Thank you for posting it. It cracks us up. And even today, he called me and was excited and making fun of it because he knew that we were going to be asking this question. So he's like, are you going to do my question? So Philip, I, I've known Philip the longest. He's what, eight years now, eight or nine years. It's been quite some time that he's been a friend of mine. He's super awesome. Uh, what can I say about Philip? Besides just super a good awesome. guy. Great guy. Fun guy. Very, uh, works hard. Owns some business. Um, and no, there is no Mrs. Philip. There's no so. Mrs. Philip. And he collects primarily blind box toys and Yo Gabba Gabba stuff. His birthday, oh, and his birthday was over a week ago? Oh, no, exactly. It was exactly a week ago, almost. Kind of about a week ago. So, so wish him a happy birthday. birthday. Late birthday for Philip. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> we loved it, by the way. Yes. Go ahead. That was our favorite. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you, we think it is possible to collect a doll, keep it out of the box, and still preserve the doll without getting messed up? You go first. I would say yes, because that's how I collect most of my dolls. Most of them, I would say like 90% of them are out of box. You just have to be more careful of where you keep it. Like the sun is the enemy when it comes to toys. So I, my toys are nowhere near a window. Um, I mean, be careful about leaving the lights on that face it too long because the heat, if it are too close to the light, the heat can, you know, affect it. And also, it just depends where you live. Also, like Florida, you have to watch out for your dolls. For just humidity in Florida air and... Oh, yeah. All kinds of... There's, like, salt I have in learned. the air. I have yeah. Learned. So, I mean, even toys in a box can still get messed up just by the age. And it's the, just, like, out of box, there's more risk for dust. Yeah. And I've noticed their hair can get messier. That's why, like, I don't like messing with them too much because I love their hair perfect. Especially with, like, the Monster Idols where they put a lot of, like, product and stickiness in the hair. That, like, I've noticed some of them when it's really hot in the summer, the, like, it melts out of it, so their yeah, hair changes. Yeah, it's weird, yeah. So it all depends on how well you're, how willing you are to take extra care of them. And dusting. I do dusting. dust. I think someone posted something really quick about cleaning. Honestly, like, there is no trick to it. I just literally take all the dolls down and dust them every once yeah. in a while. It super takes long. I hate it, but... It's worth it. You gotta do it to preserve it. Exactly. Them, like, so. once every six months, take everything out of where you store it, clean it up, shake it I do it, it more up. like... Oh, I haven't done it in a while, but I used to do it, like, almost once a month or more, because for some reason, again, Florida, dirtier than yeah. anywhere else, it seems like. <laughs> I don't know. Alright. So the next question is, do commercials influence our buying, and are we impulse buyers? Yes and yes. Yes. Well, <laughs> I would say I'm definitely an impulse oh, buyer. Oh, yeah. I don't know if commercials... Um, influence me. I would say it's more my f my friend has it and I see it in person and I want it. That is true. Like anytime I buy something, because I always like I'm more of an impulse buyer and I buy things I think more than no, you. No, you just go to the store more because I know I'm an impulse buyer. So I yeah. <laughs> see, I'm an addict. I just go straight for the store every day. Um, I I feel like I am influenced slightly. I feel like I was influenced more as a child about commercials. A because I feel like there was more commercials as a kid about like like I was looking at old Barbie commercials. We also don't watch. Nickelodeon as much or we watch well, we don't watch it on TV like we use yeah like I, I don't have cable or television really so the only thing I watch is YouTube or internet but even when I go to my mother's house because she has cable and I watch the commercials which I do and I watch like kids TV shows I feel like they're not as prevalent I feel like there's maybe three or four commercials and they repeat them like crazy and before there was a commercial for every single Barbie that came out like I can count you like 20 Barbies right now from the 90s or in the end even in the late 80s that had commercials for them and now I feel like they're not as prevalent as they were before so are, do they influence me now a little bit in the sense of if I see another YouTuber have something and I'm like whoa pretty I need to buy it so in a sense it is like my commercial is YouTube yeah um so yes on that I guess kind of sort of if that answers that and then impulse buying of course Especially if, if you're at Target yeah. and they put stuff on clearance and you're like, I didn't need this La La Loopsie doll, but it's 10 bucks, so now I need it. And then oh, you have to collect all of them. It's terrible. <laughs> the next one is, 
Does the Monster High cartoon, I guess like the webisodes and movies, influence the buying the dolls? And for me, it definitely does because I actually never even cared about the Monster High dolls or wanted to buy one until after I saw Ghoul's Rule. And I feel like the cartoons give a personality to the doll. It gives and, them light. And that makes me want to, you know, like to buy it. Mm -hmm. See, I was the opposite. I bought it because it was cute. <laughs> and then I started watching it. But it does influence me also to not buy certain characters. Like, I like I bring up Operetta because of the red hair thing. I love dolls with red hair. I like dolls that look like, well, kind of like me, whatever, you know? And I don't like her personality on the show that much. So now I don't like her as much as I did before I watched the show. She opened her mouth. So, yeah, like, I don't like her personality. is like, sassy and cool, but I don't like her attitude sometimes. So I feel like I haven't connected with her as much as I do with Dracula because she's super sweet and, like, she's super nice. And it's like, oh, you're so nice. I want to buy every single doll of you. So I feel like it does influence me a lot when I watch the characters because if they have an attitude I don't like, then I tend not to buy them. But then again, I love Toraline. and she's like a sassy, mean character. So go figure, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, it does influence me. Yeah. yeah. Next one is how did you all meet? Well, I've known you for double digit years. <laughs> in second grade, we were in the same class and then we were pretty much in almost every like every other grade together but we always like well, were elementary school, school middle school high school she lived down the road yeah kind of. like yeah like not even a mile away, yeah. like half a mile because walk, walk. i used to walk to her house all the time and we just always stayed friends through high school even when we had more friends it was always, you know we just included them but we were always friends yeah so friends till the end mm -hmm. <laughs> and then chase just he went to high school with us but i don't know Elvira picked him up and just kind of kept him around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like yeah. you, though. I'm kind of laughing at him right <laughs> now. No, I'm not, no, like, like, well, I guess we, like, knew, I, like, I met Chase through mutual friends at the time, and then he was just kind of there. <laughs> and, then, and then he moved away out of state, and then I didn't talk to, how did, I didn't talk to you for, like, what, like, five, six years? And then he came back, what, like, when did you come back in my life? About three years ago, we started reconnecting and talking, and then now I can't get rid of him, so <laughs> go figure. <laughs> don't look at us like that. <laughs> All right, what's your favorite Zelf? I don't have one because I don't know anything about them. <laughs> There's a couple. I like Webina. I like Vampula. So anything pink. I definitely the newest Zelf that I like is I'm going to say her name wrong. What's the skeleton Zelf name one? Skatalia. Skitalia. I can never say it, but the skeleton one is super cute. So I like any of them that are pink or black or yeah, I like those. I like Catsby in what's that? I think it's Howlet. Yeah, the wolf one? Yeah. Those are really super cute. I like those. Do you have any doll holy grails? Oh, do you want me to go first? Go first, yeah. Okay, there is this item. <laughs> this is getting serious, though. Because it is, because, like, the chances that I had to pick up the item, I didn't pick it up, and I really regret to this day. And whenever I do see it now, I'm always like, oh, I really want to get it. But I've seen it go up to, like, $800, so I'm like, I'm never going to own this. I might as well just sell, like, my car or something to buy it. It's... Sailor Moon, it's, I want to say 92 or 94. I don't remember what year it came out. But it's a particular mu music box. Well, it's not really a box. It's more like a globe thing. And you, like, take off the top piece, and there's Sailor Moon with, is it Chibi Moon or Little? Yeah, it's Chibi Moon, right? Yeah. With Chibi Moon and Sailor Moon, and they spin around and they dance on it. So it's, like, them dancing around so a little be, like, piece 94, of, like, I think. I think it was 94. And, like, it's, like, they dance around to the theme of the Sailor Moon, and you can take them off because they're magnetic. And it's just this cute little music globe Where thing. Where did you see this at? eBay, and we saw it in Japan when we went once. We did? But the box was like this big, and I was just like, there's no way it's coming back with us. Uh, like, I, if I was- How in Japan? Like, under a hundred bucks, I regret it. Because on eBay, it goes from 250 to 800. We could have shipped it. That was a regret. I know. I regret it. That's probably, I, for some reason, I remember seeing a video of it, and just going, I need this, and started crying, and then ever since then, I want it. That, okay, that's my number one. And then my second place one, which I had it in my hands, or my eBay hands, I should say, and- Chase was there, and I oh. cried when I lost it. I was bidding on this talking Ariel doll that is, like, th over three feet tall. I have the newer version of her that came out two years ago in Costco, but she doesn't talk. And <laughs> and I need toys to talk to me because I needed to connect. And and I remember oh. bidding on it on eBay, and I didn't get it, and I cried because I was so upset, and Chase was, like, Chase is upset because he was trying to bid with me. But this is very emotional, okay? I'm having an emotional moment right now. So those are my two, <laughs> those are my two Holy Grails, but I definitely have to say the Sailor Moon one's more Holy Grail because for some reason I was sitting there on, on the internet one day and I started crying because I couldn't, I was like, this is the most beautiful thing ever, and yeah. Mine, <laughs> I would like to own a Blythe doll. <laughs> and that's how I got to say it. And you have the opportunity to do that soon, right? Yes. 
And probably on eBay too if I really want to. <laughs> um, oh. what other things do we collect besides toys? Universe. Oh, um, awesome. I have an addiction to paper, like planners. <laughs> like I cannot go into a Staples without looking at every planner. Even if I have it, I have to like touch it and like I love I notebooks. I smell paper too. <laughs> like yeah, I smell paper. Like my husband refuses to go into Staples with me because I will smell like the post-its and stuff. And yeah, I buy a lot of like paper. And she got me addicted and to planners and, and paper. And I don't even say like scrapbooking. I just like notebooks. And half the time I don't even want to write in the notebook because See, I'm more into scrapbooking. I really like yeah. scrapbooking. She's gotten me into it. Like, I have my my addiction to Michaels is like ridiculous. Now. Oh yeah, we like, went to Michaels together, and we were like, we're just gonna buy one roll of washi tape each. We each spent like fifty bucks. It's terrible. But my my other collection, or my original collection before the toy buying became a not an issue. Um, I used to collect Halloween things and skulls. I really love dark things. Um, so I have a major collection to anything that had skulls or couples and skulls. Like I really love like a boy and girl skull together. And <laughs> I have a lot of skull jewelry and clothes and you should see my living room. That's the one thing where I'm slowly, the toys are making their way in there it seems like, but my bigger collection used to be Halloween and skull items. Um. <laughs> And adults. I think that was all our questions that we have that we picked out. Oh wait, really? Was there any more? Do you like Power Rangers? Absolutely freaking lootly <laughs> like Power Rangers. And we should do more videos on Power Rangers. But the problem is a lot of the newer, like the Dino Charge, I haven't watched that series yet, so I feel like it wouldn't be genuine videos if that makes sense because I'm slowly working my way up to You're the, watching every single episode yes. of Power Rangers ever, which is hard to do. It is. I am like four or five years away from the current season, so I have a little catching up to do. But there are like some of the new legacy so yeah, items it. that came out, like the Dragon Zord and the Dragon Dagger and like some of the Zords like that. So we may do some videos on that even though they're older, but just let us know if you like that. Um, and we hope we got to most of your questions. Again, we apologize if we didn't get to it. Like we just didn't want this episode to go too too long. Um, but if you guys really like this, comment below, and we will definitely plan on doing it in the future. And as always, check out our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I know you guys hear me say that on every episode, but I mean it. So if you're not on there, like it and join our circle, subscribe, so you can see us sit here and talk about things. <laughs>